Hey guys, I don't know what the Lord is doing today, and I rarely do this, but um, as I was in church today, I, um, when I say in church, I mean streaming, but I don't like calling it streaming, I call, I call it church, because that's what it is, because church is not a place, church is people, and I'm still worshiping God along with the people at Elevation Church, so that's the church I attend, so when I say I was in church, uh, people say I was streaming church at home, anywho, so as Pastor Stephen was talking, um, he was doing a wonderful sermon today, and, um, but as he was talking, I began to think about my first sermon this morning, um, and he mentioned Moses and the children of Israel and um, all that stuff in his sermon. That was not what it was all the way about, but it started there and that stuck with me. And the Lord's thinking about what happened in this morning's sermon. Um, the Lord says, I want you to talk about the power of the mumble. <laughs> and I said, what do, you, what do you mean? And he brought me back to what happened this morning. So let me tell you what happened this morning. I recorded this beautiful sermon. Um, it was so powerful. And I still put it up there. But when I had finished recording, because I didn't see, I didn't uh, test the sound. Um, when I was finished recording. So, when I was finished recording, I went to play it. This wonderful, beautiful sermon that I preached that was totally inspired by God. It's called Celebrating the Circle of Life. Um, and it's up on Facebook and YouTube, by the way. But the only problem is, um, when when I went to record it, what I didn't realize is that the mic, my microphone, was down here instead of up here. So the whole sermon is me mumbling. <laughs> so this wonderful sermon that I preached that was totally inspired by God and has some wonderful things uh, to it can can barely be understood because it sounds like I'm talking I'm talking like this instead of like this. So you if you want to listen to it, you can still listen to it. Um, uh, it'll be hard to hear. Uh, some of it, but uh, uh, hopefully you'll get something of what I said from it. And he said, and I said, as um, Pastor Stephen Sermon was wrapping up, the Lord said, I want you to to talk about the power of the bubble, and I want you to reference your sermon uh, from this morning. Um, and I said first when I was uploading it, I'm like, oh God, they can't understand anything. What am I supposed to do? Do I preach it again? Do I... He said, no. He said, put it up. They'll get what they need to. He said, put it up as is, and they'll get what they need to. You don't need to explain you don't need to uh, say why. You don't need to explain anything. They'll get what they need to. And the Lord says right now, uh, he's speaking, but he's speaking in a mumble, which is like you're, you're thinking that you're hearing him, but you're not sure. Uh, but he's saying, 
even if you're not sure and you and you think you hear him, do it anyway. Put it up anyway. Write it anyway. And he says, clarity does not come from you. It comes from me. And he says, Rachel, they'll get whatever they need to from that server. Even if it's just a little word that you said, they'll get it. Even if it's just a little something from that word that you said, they may not be able to understand it all, but even if it's just a little something, it's worth putting up. So he, he's saying the same thing to his church right now. He's saying, even if God is telling you a little something, but it doesn't sound clear and you get a word here or there and you're not quite sure, he's saying, do it anyway. You'll understand what you need to. Even though you may not understand it all, you'll understand and get what you need to. Because his word is so strongly over your life, and you don't need to get it all to just put it up. And he said he said this one thing to me. He said, just put it on Facebook. Just put it on YouTube. There's no need to explain. The only reason I explained here because it's so that it's the backdrop of the sermon. But you don't need to explain to anyone what God has told you to do. Now, a caveat there. If God wants you to get advice and he told, he, he brings a person uh, to mind to get advice for whatever he's called you to do, then you listen to that person. But all the naysayers in your life that is telling you, no, don't do no, that's too expensive. No, you can't do that for your life. Oh, tell them to shut up. Of course you can do it. You can do it. If God has purposed it in you, brother, sister, you can do it. Even if it's on a mumble. Even if it's on a mumble. Even if you don't hear every word. Even if you don't understand what you've heard. Do it. And even if you fail, even if it doesn't go the way you see it going, a seed a seed from that word may germinate. It may not be the entire thing, but a seed from it will carry on and develop into something that you could never ima- have imagined. And he want and he wants me to to tell you the power of the mumble and listen to the mumble and learn from the mumble even if you don't know even if it sounds mumbly if that's a word that's okay just just do what you think you heard and if it's not right he'll correct you or like I said before a seed of what you what you thought you heard will germinate into some more than you can ask or think or imagine. And that's what he told me to, to tell you guys today. Moving on a mumble. That's what I'm going to call this little word. This little word is called moving on a mumble. Thank you guys. Bye. Be blessed. See you next week. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you. My past is over with you. All things have made new. Surrendered my life to Christ. I'm moving on. Thank you guys. See you later. And remember to uh, listen to the sermon I did before called 
celebrating the circle of life, although it's mumbly, you will you will get something from it. The Lord told me that even if it's mumbly and they don't get every word, they'll get something from it. And I believe God, so I put it up anyway. I could have thrown it away. But the Lord said, even though it's mumbly, they will get what they need to from it. So take care and I'll see you next week. Bye.